I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. There is the best there was or the best there ever will be. Be the man! You gotta beat the man! What you gotta do when Hulk Hogan runs wild on you! Randy Orton, legend killer. You will rest in peace. That's the bottom line, Custom Cold Saxo. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Mark May here. Welcome to the new season of the Mayhem Show with Mark May. Um, guys, it has been a long time. Welcome to the show. You can see my awesome little setup I got here behind me. We're going to have a lot of guests on tonight. Uh, to the first guest tonight is going to be Gary J. Paulette. Uh, He runs Monroe Comic Con. I just found this out. Uh, we're going to be talking to him a little bit about comics tonight. We're also going to be talking about wrestling uh, as we bring him on here as he runs a Detroit territory, ladies and gents. Uh, guys, if you're watching right now, share all this out for me. We're going to get it shared out here in just a second. But the first thing we're going to do is talk about the WCEWF, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, WCWF dash, or excuse me, underscore wrestling on Instagram. If you guys are looking to see my pick federation, if you want to see all the fantasy stuff that goes in my head onto that IG page, make sure to check it out. Uh, guys, in the meantime, here is our special guest, Mr. Gary. Gary, how you doing tonight, brother? Good, Mark. How you doing today? <sighs> Another beautiful day in paradise, man. Can't complain too bad. I'm, I'm so happy to have you on tonight. Uh, I can see already you've got a couple things that I like. Uh, first, that Darren McCarty shirt. Yeah. Uh, Boy. That is awesome, man. Uh, tell me how you know Darren McCarty. Oh, uh, Darren's a good guy. He came on our podcast a few times. I, I run a podcast called Terry and Gary's Low Expectations Podcast with a uh, former WWE superstar and Impact superstar Rhino. Uh, so he's been on our show a few times and just, you know, disconnected. He's a good guy. Comes down. He did a charity show for me. He comes to our pop fest every year. He, uh, he's actually a big part of our IWR wrestling, uh, too. So he's just all around good guy. So I always want to represent when I can. All right, man. Let me, uh, let me ask you a question. So, Let's talk about Monroe Pop Fest. Is that right? Am I yeah, saying it right? It was Comic Con, but you know, what's the exact name of your show, brother? The the Monroe Pop Fest. Monroe Pop Fest, guys. Yeah. Uh, Gary runs Monroe Pop Fest. I just found it out. Uh, that's out there in Michigan. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, yeah, uh, cool. tell them a little bit about that, Gary. Well, first of all, it shows how much you follow me on my Facebook page and my social media because that's all I do is post stuff like that. But second of all, no, it's a, it's, it's a great show. We've been in 10 years now. Uh, it's, it's a medium sized show. It, it's just a lot of fun. We get around 2000 people. It's a day and a half, uh, this family show, me and my wife have ran it for about, like I said, 10 years now. And it's, it's a good time. I saw the picture you put up there of me and that's actually from our last show, uh, with Rhino and Al Snow and, uh, my whole family there. So Dude, that's a good-looking family. Also, you got some comics behind you here, brother. What you got on the uh, on the wall here with the art and stuff? Two past guests. Uh, this is Clayton Crane. We've had Clayton Crane a few times at the show. Uh, he did some uh, artwork for me. And that one's Tim Vigil. I think on the – yeah, Tim, Tim Vigil. I don't know if you see the Conans back there, but it's uh, – Oh, that is incredible. We got Jim Terry, uh, Mark Nelson, a bunch of stuff up there. I got, I got a lot of art. God, that, uh, that Mark Nelson, I mean, it's got to be incredible. Let's zoom in on that one because that is, that's the good stuff right there. Uh, Mark was a great guest, great guest. Awesome, awesome writer, a draw, artist. 
He is incredible. I've I've seen him draw in person, man. He's one of the yeah. he's like one of the top twenty to me, in my opinion. That you can just sit there and watch and just be in awe. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome, man. Uh, I, you were talking about Rhino and Al Snow uh, at your last show. Al Snow's got a comic, I think, uh, coming out or is out. Yeah, it is. And, uh, it's a uh, I forget. I'm trying to think of it. Broken Icon Comics. The guys from uh, Broken Icon Comics do that. Uh, they've got that one. I think they got another one coming out. Uh, with somebody else to uh, draw a blank on it, but yeah, they have that comic. Uh, Al was at our show this year. Such a such a great guy, with killer voice. I don't know if you've ever heard him talk, but his, his voice is like oh yeah, huge Al Snow fan, man. He's he's something else, and he, I hear he's a uh, he's a coach too, right? For yeah. uh, wrestling, he runs his own wrestling, uh, independent wrestling down in uh, Ohio as well. So, oh wow, yeah. Is it is it Ohio Valley or is it yeah. a different? It yeah. is Ohio Valley. Yeah. He runs Ohio Valley now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And and we, we were talking about Rhino, too. Uh, Rhino, who wrestles for your promotion. Right. Uh, Rhino being one of the all-time legends, you yeah. know. Actually, uh, this, Rhino's co-owner with me. Me and him co-own IWR. So, he wrestles for himself. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know that. That's awesome, man. We started about three years ago. Actually, our three-year anniversary show is coming up December 29th. Really? So I remember when you had first started, I remember seeing uh, the post right when it had first started. And man, I was impressed right off the bat because I love wrestling. And, you know, I uh, I grew up in Alabama, so we would have small uh, independent promotions come through our high schools and stuff like that. And um, Bullet Bob was one of the guys that used to bring his uh, promotion through. So we got to see uh, Road Dog when he was young uh, come through. Uh, Springville, Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, a town of like 300. So, uh, but, but it's cool to see what you're doing. You're, you're basically bringing this, uh, really rich area of, uh, tradition, uh, in, in Michigan and Detroit, and you're making a territory again out of it. And that is awesome that you two are doing that. And let's talk about some of your top wrestlers that you have in the, uh, in the promotion. Oh man, it's there's so many. I mean, we've got just up and coming stars like Top Notch, Jason Hotch, and people this this you know Madman Fulton, uh, Trey Miguel, all from Impact. But they're they're mainstays of our show, former champions of our show. Jason Hotch is our United States champion right now. Uh, we mentioned Rhino, uh, always great. Actually, our first show we had we brought in uh, badass Billy Gunn, and he now pronounces himself the mayor of Monroe since people loved him so much. Man, that is fantastic. Uh, what what was Billy like? Oh, Billy was great. So much, was he? So so big. <laughs> yeah, know? he's huge, and and to be in such great shape at his age, man, it's just unbelievable. Such truly, nice yeah, you know, we've had we've had a lot of guys in the last three years come through. I mean, Tommy Dreamer's been to a few of our shows. Uh, Shane Douglas has been to probably half of them. So we have like a we have a whole ECW feel. Uh, you know the the. the the venue's small. We fit about three, 350 people in, but we bring in big, you know, big names, which is, which is kind of cool to see guys like that, you know, in such a small atmosphere. I agree. I, I think that whole uh, atmosphere that you guys are putting off is absolutely incredible. Um, you were talking about um, how Rhino basically co-owns it. Yeah. So uh, how did you guys get together and how did you uh, start talking about this to get this going when you first started three years ago? We've been friends for a while. and uh, He actually, uh, he did some shows for me a while back and then he moved to Monroe, I think maybe four or five years ago. I can't remember how long now. And we just, you know, reconnected kind of. And he said, hey, it's one of a wrestling promotion. I'm like, uh, I guess. So we did it. <laughs> it <was> pretty, <laughs> actually, as simple as that, really. And so we were talking about your uh, your top guys just a second ago, and we were talking about uh, all the guys that you brought in. And um, when you talk about your titles, you said you have a U.S. Uh, title. Yeah. And you were talking about Shane Douglas, too. And it just I learned this today, you guys. Shane Douglas was the Intercontinental Champion for a little bit at one point, yeah. and a lot of people don't even know that, guys, yeah. uh, for the WWF back in the day. But he has been wrestling since the 80s, I think it was. Uh, for I mean, he was he started out in WWF back in the day, but Shane Douglas he was one of the best wrestlers ever, yeah, ever. Not just in ECW, but man, I mean, that late WCW period, he was about to take it over. If it would have kept going, it would have been all Shane Douglas. Yeah, I, I, I agree. 
And we, we going back to you know the wrestlers, it's easy for me to talk about because we just brought in a uh, Motor City Machine Guns at our last show, and just to watch the crowd react to to guys like that, and you know, and in a small venue. And I mean, that's that's where that's where they're from, man. So yeah. like that's I mean, you got to get that's that's the pop right there, guys, for real, like. Uh, how big was that pop? Was it bigger than any of the pops that you've had so far in the past was, three years? It was pretty big. I, man, it's, it's so hard to say. I mean, guys like Hornswoggle came out and just like, you know, popped the crowd. And people love what we one of our one of our stars is Big Con, Connor from Ascension. He, he's been he's our first world champion, actually. Uh, uh, I, I did see that when you guys had first started. I saw that uh, Connor was your first uh, world champion. And uh, I'm tagging you in this post right now, by the way, okay. uh, to share it out so more people can see it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, our, our, we've had three world champions at our show. Uh, first one was Big Con Connor. Uh, the second one was Rowan from uh, Eric Rowan from WWE. He was our second champion. And the same night he won, Dread King Logan, our current champion, uh, took it from him. So it, it's for, I think for a small show or, you know, like that, it's pretty uh, pretty cool to have such good names as representing our Heath and Rhino were our first tag team champions. So Right, right. And, dude, you've had some incredible talent come through already, which is insane. And what I was uh, bringing up for your titles, uh, what are your titles for the Fed? No, we just have three. We have the World Tag Team titles, we have the United States titles, and then we have the World Heavyweight titles. And the World Heavyweight titles, basically, it's hardcore. Uh, you know, we kind of bring that ECW feel. Actually, our title belt is based off the ECW title belt, kind of paying homage to Rhino's final, you know, title belt that he won there, the TV title and world title at the same time. So kind of throwing homage back to that. And it's just, uh, you know, it's just pretty cool to see it. And then the guys love it. So that was an incredible last match for ECW guys. If nobody ever saw that back in the day, that is uh, one you're going to have to see for sure. Um, all right. So talking about, uh, all the different things comic wise that you like, uh, what are some of your favorite comic characters? Oh, mine's Spider-Man. I mean, I got, I got long boxes full of Spider-Man comics. That's about the only thing I, only comic I really, really collect. And then I'll, 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 I'll collect like James O'Barr's coming to our show probably, I think four times now. So I really love the Crow comic and, you know, stuff like that. Do you ever get, uh, any original art from James? Yeah, I I have original art from James coming, but it's not here yet, James. So, but no, <laughs> but yeah, no, we, I, I'm gonna get. I'm definitely gonna get some. He's coming back again this year, so I'll work That's on awesome. it this year. We got. I got some Glenn Fabry art coming. Uh, Glenn was at our show a few years ago, so but he's way behind on his stuff. So, so uh, back to your wrestling promotion, brother. Uh, what what is your goal? What is your main goal with all this? Well, at first, it's just to have fun. Now it's just to uh, keep building. I think uh, we want to run maybe some more, some more smaller shows. You know, nearby, you know, Adrian area, more, more around, you know, Metro Detroit, uh, Western Michigan, Northern Michigan, but still stay, you know, centered in Monroe. That's where our big shows are going to be. Awesome. Uh, dude, when you're talking about ECW and how it's kind of modeled after that for the heavyweight title and stuff like that, who was your uh, favorite ECW wrestler besides Rhino? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't not say Rhino. Even here. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I don't know. I, I liked, uh, man, I liked Raven. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to say by him. Maybe Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, Raven was great. Tommy Dreamer was great. Uh, man, you're bringing back some memories. I've been watching the, uh, the old episodes on Peacock of these okay. guys. Yeah. Best oh yeah. Peacock. Huh? It's the best part about Peacock. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't even need a, I don't even need another service, man. I can just watch that old wrestling all day, man. Well, make sure you get the, uh, the impact service too, the impact plus, cause you can watch IWR matches on that. So, oh really? You can. Yeah. yeah we well, that's that. everybody. Do you guys hear that? If you got impact plus, you can watch the IWR matches on there too, guys. So. Yeah. That is, uh, that's incredible. We're going to have uh, an old Impact referee on the show in the next couple of weeks. So that'll be fun. We can't talk about it yet, uh, but we'll be talking about it soon. We got, uh, hook up. We got yeah. some big guests this week. Uh, it's been fun, man. It's been fun talking to all these guys. It's been fun talking to you this week, too, man. Getting it all is. this. I appreciate it, man. It's, it's a good time getting to talk wrestling, comics, all that. 
it's funny how, how how much those worlds have merged. You know, they they really have uh, because it used to be two two yeah. completely separate worlds. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, absolutely. Like you'd have a couple guys that liked them both, but not not a ton, dude. It seems like it just goes hand in hand now. And I just I like even like with Darren McCarty has a comic out, and you know, and just all these different. He does. Yeah. What is what is Darren McCarty's comic book? It's uh, from Mess Market Comics. It's uh, Dominic Reggio. He has a comic book out. It's about it's actually it's called Donnie Brook. It's got. Darren McCarty, it's got Brian O'Halloran from uh, uh, the, what, the Clerks. Yeah. People, it's all about hockey. It's really cool. So check that out for sure. I definitely will. Uh, just saw Brian, what was it like three months ago? Yeah. Uh, we had the uh, uh, VIP room that we go into for Colorado Springs because I'm a guest at that Comic Con. And so I'll, uh, I'll get to go talk to celebrities and stuff in the green room. And he's one of the nicest guys I have ever ever met man celebrity was by far uh if you can if you can get him out man that's the dude to get out right there yeah i think he's gonna be i thought he was gonna be in michigan this year again i can't i, I know like i see him somewhere coming up here pretty soon i forget where it was now we got we're you know, like every state we've got you know a bevy of comic book conventions and so okay man who was your favorite wrestler growing up all time man that's tough I actually like the junkyard dog. Junkyard dog. <laughs> I Hell like yeah! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna get like this. Ah. There he is. <laughs> there he yeah. is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome the junkyard dog to the WCEWF, ladies and gentlemen. He's yeah, gonna be one of our permissive events in the uh, the pick fed. So, uh, yeah, that's 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 the that's the that's where I that's where I came in, man. Junkyard Dog, you know, Hulk Hogan, of course, uh, Ricky Steamboat, all those guys back then. Dude, was there was there anybody better than Ricky? Like well, back then? in the ring, I don't, I don't think so, man. I don't think there was, man. I think he was probably the most incredible yeah. out of everybody. Uh, Jimmy Rothman comes in, brother says. IWR, 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 let's go. Uh, insane Wrestling Revolution, ladies and gentlemen, out here. Hey, Jimmy uh, does our graphics. He's a good good dude. Uh, Jimmy, uh, shout out to Jimmy, ladies and gents. Jimmy, feel free to add me too, brother. Crazy story. Uh, remember, Gary, if you guys make it big and you need somebody to call the matches, yeah. I'm your guy. You no got, problem. We'll fly you in. Are you at Denver? Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> easy, and I won't even charge you. I'll just go out there and do it for free because I'm I'm that good, and I feel like it'll be that fun. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, know. ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get to Gary here, and we're gonna ask him the number one question that we used to ask everybody on the Mayhem Show for the last fifty six episodes. We didn't ask you first, but we're gonna ask you now. At all the cities you've been to for Comic Cons or wrestling shows, what's the best city for food, and what was the food place that you went and it's your favorite? Wow, man, that's that's a tough one. I'd say Monroe, Michigan, Amaya's Fresh Mexican Grill. No kidding, really, the hometown answer, huh? You got to you got to stick with the hometown, man. That's who supports you the most. You heard it here, folks. If you're in the Monroe area, you better go check it out right now. But not exactly right now because you got to watch this show. But That's right. after that, all right, man. So let's get back to IWR because I am so intrigued and excited for you because to me, this is like a dream. Like you see me doing this with my action figures that I just got for the Pick Federation, but you get to do it in real life. <laughs> so you're booking matches, you're, you're, you're promoting this thing. Tell me what is your favorite part about this, and tell me a little bit about booking because I know that's what everybody wants to talk about tonight is the process of booking. Well, that's where it's easy for me. I don't, I don't book. <laughs> Rhino handle. Rhino handles the booking. We have a, a good friend of ours, Johnny Bravo, that handles a lot of that with us too. So, but my so, is promoting because that's what I do. Get down the so, street, talk to the people about wrestling or about comic cons. Tell us, if you can, tell us a little bit about the process still of booking that you know about, please. 
I mean, it's just like anything else. You contact the people that you want to come in, work out a deal, and bring them in. You know, that's that's really that's really the gist of it. It's just like getting a guest at a comic book convention or anything else. But it's a little easier for us because you know Rhino and his connection. So that's why I get to stay nice and nice and clear of that I you know I have I have enough problems booking my uh, <laughs> comic book convention. So I totally get it, man. I totally get it. That's. That's a good answer. I knew where that was going to go. It's a shit answer. It's, it's the answer I got. <laughs> I get it. Um, so when it comes to the crowd, what is uh, y'all's number one goal for them at the wrestling show? The crowd? Uh, it's memories. I mean, you know, that's, me and Ryan will talk about this all the time. It's, you know, you do this, whether you do it you know, for the comic book convention or if you do it for wrestling, you you do it for, you know, for people's memories. You know, like I remember going to like the Armory and watching wrestling with my dad when I was a kid or, you know, and I see these same people, you know, with their kids and how you know, the kids are louder and more robust, you know, than anybody. So it's, it's just, it's just what it's really about, you know, bringing something like this to the community for them to have a good time, for them to create memories with their families and friends and and then that's if you're not doing it for that, you know, I don't know, I don't know why you're doing it, you know. So, so the wrestling action that I've seen from you guys as an independent promotion has actually been like top notch. And I'm not just saying that because you're on my show. I'm saying it because, like, I've I've seen other indie promotions and I've seen what they're doing, even at a like even at a bigger level already. And I'm just like, guys, like you guys are running it right. You've already given the swerves. You know what I mean? Like, like you've 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 given them actual good matches. Yeah, and, and we you know, like, uh, we've uh, been telling the story for three years now. So you know, and people yeah. have followed, people have followed along with that, and they ask me all the time, like, "Hey, what's what's going to happen with this? Oh, what's going to happen with this?" And it's like, you got to yeah, come to the shows and watch, find out. You know. So do you do you write any of the uh, story at all? No, mostly mostly Ryan writes all that stuff, and you know, we, we talk about it. We have meetings and stuff. And we get dinner and we talk about you know what we think should happen or what I think should happen, and basically, I mean. The guy's been in business for almost 30 years, so mm-hmm. you pretty much take whatever lead he gives you and toss your opinions in here and there. And then he takes – actually, my wife my wife gives a lot of her uh, her outside opinions in, and it actually works out beautifully. You know, that, that third, you know, maybe not in the industry kind of, you know, view, and it works. Oh, yeah, this shit, I didn't think about that. We should do something like that. And so it's, it's, a, it's a collaborative effort, but, yeah, a rhino's been – He's been he's been killing it with this with the stories. We had a whole we've been invaded. I don't know if you heard. I mean, Monroe, Michigan's been invaded by the Canadians, and they're taking over. It's Monroe, Ontario, Canada now. They got rid of all of our Starbucks. It's now nothing but Tim Hortons in Monroe, Michigan. And I don't know. Times are tough here, so you guys need to come help us out. You you Americans, you Yanks, come help us Canadians out. Dude, how is Tim Hortons? <laughs> Better than Starbucks. <laughs> You're so lucky. <laughs> no, it's good, man. Got some nice, good, good donuts, some good hot chocolates. Yeah, Tim Hortons, eh? Dude, I'm, I'm I see it on every hockey commercial when I'm watching that NHL package sometimes, and I'm sitting there like, man, you guys are making me want some Tim Hortons right yeah, now. So, Denver? No, no, you know, big bees and stuff. Dude, there's we ain't got none of that good shit. We just got Starbucks and whatever's fancy and expensive and terrible. That's what we got. Coffee, there you go. <laughs> you need uh, what do we got? We got uh, Ziggy's. If you haven't tried Ziggy's yet, that's what we got. Never heard of it. Exactly. <laughs> we're not we're not up to date with that Tim Hortons yet, bro. Uh, so Gary, when it comes to your promotion, who's your top heel? Man. Uh, that's a tough one. I mean, we've got some, we got some good heels. I mean, and it's the thing, thing about heels to me is like, they got to be so bad that people start to like them. You know what I mean? It's right. It's, Who draws the most heat to where it is like, Oh right my now, God, I hate this guy so much. I might actually start to like him. Well, right now, Johnny Bravo. I don't know if you guys watch impact now, but Johnny Bravo is, is a mainstay at our show and he's probably our number one heel and he's actually been attacked three times. So, we gotta do a little better, better in security. Attacked in yeah. real life. Yeah. So you're shitting me, man. Um, How? We've had to escort people out of the building because he he does his job so well that people start to hate him. 
God, that is that is an incredible, incredible heel. So what did he say? I know you remember. So what did he say to make it happen the first time? It's this whole Canadian angle that the whole, I mean, people just hate him because he's taking over, taking over Terry's boatyard. I mean, Rhino's boatyard now. You don't, the Canadians took over the boatyard. They threw a fireball on Rhino's face. They beat him, beat him up and took him out for three months, three out of action for three months. And it's all because of his prodding and poking. And he's just, I don't know, you guys, you guys got to watch some Impact, Impact TV and, and check out Bravo because he's one of the best heels in the game. He's just, he's, the dude's crazy. And so when it comes to your new stars, who is your up and coming top baby face? Well, I had to say, I mean, there's a lot of them, but top notch Jason Hot. She just signed with Impact. Uh, the kid's, kid's phenomenal. I mean, we've heard other wrestlers talk when once they wrestle them that they're saying like he's like a like a young Chris Saban and we've had Chris Saban twice at our show so I mean I would say he's the one to look out for. Okay, that's uh dude, that's awesome. All right, this is gonna be a hard one for you. Okay, who's got the best finisher? Not Rhino. Can't say Rhino. Who else? Man, the best finisher. I like I like I like I like Trey's. Uh, Trey Miguel's. I mean, the knees up, double knees off the top rope. Uh, just the way the way he hits it, the, the meteora is just. I don't know. It's 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 pretty vicious, dude. I, I don't know how they do it, man. Like I, I'm telling you right now, if somebody comes off the top rope onto me with double knees, yeah. you know, no matter what, I'm I'm going down, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no matter oh, what, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. It's yeah, gonna hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this I don't know. I didn't. Man, man, Fulton did a uh, man. He we had a handicap match last that last uh, last event, Halloween Havoc, and man, man, Fulton had two guys on him. He did one in the Boston Crab, and the other one he had in a. I don't even know what the hell the other move was, but and he had them both and made them both tap out. And I was like, the way these guys can do, do what they do in that ring is just it's it's phenomenal, man. It is it is phenomenal because a lot of times, uh, like if you think about it, and we're gonna go off the uh, the kayfabe section here for just a second, but uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about this. Like, I mean, when it comes to like 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 choreographing everything on the second on a dime, you know what I mean? At the same time that you're trying to act and tell a story in a Shakespearean way, while displaying athleticism. At the same time, is some and, of the and, most impressive uh, too. ever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're taking they're taking a lot of a, a lot of real bumps and a lot of real hurt, man. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta buy those tables every time they break one, so that's a lot of hurt on me too. <laughs> but but when you when you when you think about all this, like it's it's so impressive the way their minds work so fast. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Well, the professional. Like, it's, it's like you said, it's like, it's like, it's like a dance. I mean, those guys get together in the ring and it's like, I imagine some people don't work well together or they just don't mesh, but most of the guys, they, they get together and they, they just, they just create magic out in the, in the, you know, between the ropes there. And it's just perfect. I, I, it's, I can't, I can't fathom how to do it. I mean, I can barely walk up the, up the stairs to get in the ring. So <laughs> same here, buddy. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta know how much of that is, um, pre-match determined as much as it is in the ring on spot oh on, i would say 99 percent was on spot <coughs> i mean they don't it's not like they get together and, and practice for for weeks and weeks at a time most of them don't see each other until the day of the show so that's 99 percent just them really going and, and right they, in the ring ready yeah. to go and just just go out there and it shows you how much time to each other and do it yeah it's it's crazy it's got to be a confidence thing, especially for somebody that you haven't worked with before. How would that uh, affect it? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it affects it at all. These guys, I mean, they know the moves, they know what they can do, and they know what they're capable of, and they just do it. They hit it. I don't think I've, I've seen two missed spots in three years. So that's better than uh, the big guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's a little different out there. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's incredible. I mean, you can tell if it's only two spots that have been missed that you guys are really trying. Like, yeah. And your guys are giving it everything, which is amazing. 
the fans can tell. And then as soon as, as soon as they see that in the spot, they, they you got the chance. You effed up. Exactly. You effed up. <laughs> No, we got those ECW chants going, you know, so it, it, it's happened, and then they, and they notice. So, uh, did original ECW ever go to Michigan? You know, I don't know about. I don't know if they did. I mean, I'm. I should. I should have had Rhino come on with me. He'd. He'd, he'd tell you. <laughs> well, uh, Gary, that is a possibility to have him on anytime you want him on. I will have him on, sir. Yeah, I'll. I'll let him know. We'll get him on here. And, any any of your wrestlers, man, uh, not just him, but any of them. I yeah, would love Brian, to promote you guys. Brian, right? Do what now? You have Bryce Sullivan on a couple days now. Right? He, he's gonna he's gonna be on tomorrow night, and then Doctor Tom Pritchard is on tomorrow morning. So yeah. Bryce Russell Forrest, good dude, huge, huge, yeah. And here here's the thing, man. Like a lot of people don't get this, and I was gonna talk to him about it tomorrow night. But if he would have been pushed in WCW, he would have been a monster. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, and when I say pushed, I mean farther than, you know, the Hulkster's uh, fan. You know yeah. what I mean? So uh, the whole uh, rivalry, though, with Kevin Sullivan was incredible after that. And that, that showed you right there what a star this dude could have been, man. Yeah. Uh, right? I, I agree. So I, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait to have him out. I can't wait to uh, – I can't wait to, dude. We're gonna have a big one next week too. I can't tell you guys yet. Come on, but yeah. you nineties, nineties WWF. That's, that's all I can tell you. And that then narrowed, uh, that narrowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> Not too good, right? Uh, so we were talking to uh, Chuck Robinson, Charles Robinson, a uh, uh, big, big referee uh, in history, guys, uh, this week. And he was going to do the show, but he uh, he had to have me contact the WWE in order to do it. Oh, yeah. And I, I was just like, listen, I, I know how this is going to go. I probably shouldn't even attempt this. You know yeah. what I mean? But it would have been cool to have him on, too, uh, to talk about all this stuff. Now, let me ask you a question. When, it, when You've seen the guests that I'm going to be having. What would be a question that maybe you would ask uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard or uh, even Dave, uh, Bill Sullivan? I always like uh, I don't know. I always like to hear their favorite moments, man. I just because you know your favorite moments as far as like a fan and stuff. But you know, what was their favorite moments being in the ring and being so close to it? I, that's my uh, what I always like. What, what, what some I always ask our guests when we have them on. Now, what was your favorite? What was your moment that that really stuck with you in the ring or outside of the ring or just being part of? You know, and and the funny thing is, they always have that moment that that they that they re, you know refer back to that really really stuck with them. What would be a question that you would avoid, Gary? Like just not asking a wrestler oh at all. Don't ask him if wrestling's real. That was, that's it, <laughs> dude. I I know that Dr. David Schultz taught me that. So <laughs> <laughs> you get a lesson real quick. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Um, we were just talking about the Taskmaster. I actually made this uh custom taskmaster figure this week i'm going to show you guys uh there he is there's his boots as you can see oh, nice yeah i did uh exactly even the little little arm there and he's got the wcw mic in the head the 95 uh mustache ladies and gentlemen very nice but that was my first ever custom action figure uh, that I've made for the Elite Series so far. I haven't even been an action figure wrestler, action figure buyer since yeah. maybe I was 13 years old. Until this year, I'm 37, guys. I'm 37. I'm just yeah, now yeah. getting into them, buying the shit out of them. Yeah, the beard makes me look different, dude. Yeah, you, you just look old. You're, you're, you're I look old. older. Yeah, look, look. I look older than shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's, this is why they need me as a manager or announcer, man. I could be around for the next 40 years looking the exact same. The exact same way. <laughs> I'm like Mean Gene Okerlund, dude. Right. <laughs> uh, so I like I like showing those customs off because to me, uh, that's like an art now, man. It's not just because I'm into it and I'm doing it. It's because I see other people doing it. And the guys that are actually doing this are incredible. Like yeah. if you look on Instagram, some of these guys are giving you those figures that you've wanted that WWE won't give you. 
And yeah, they're expensive and yeah, they're probably display only, but man, that is a beautiful thing to look at. You know what I mean? Well, how uh, just, yeah. It's just like that art piece behind you right there. Like all the art that you have behind you. I'm literally like, like, look, yes, this is, this is my original art right here for my death dealer cover, which is, you know, upwards 20 grand maybe like but i'm more proud of that kevin sullivan custom figure right there that i just made yesterday that's right because it, and it's it's just weird man like i'm so into wrestling that uh i've never really had a chance to you know display it but now we get the chance we get to talk to you guys bring you on the show uh and we're gonna we're gonna just go the entire wrestling route from here i think we got uh mark uh britain tonight uh, from Dragon Ball Z, uh, he was an actor on that show, but he'll be on next after. But after that, man, it's just all wrestling from there. So, Gary, you're going to have to come back on oh, 100% yeah. so we can talk about the next uh, uh, big show. Every big show you got, man, I want I want to talk about it. I want I want all your wrestlers on here, and we'll talk about all this stuff, dude. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll love it, man. They'll love it. Awesome. Uh, all right, man. So you have been going for 40 minutes. We usually go for an hour. Okay. You, you in for the whole hour? I don't know if I'll be in for the whole hour, but I'm going to be in there for a couple more minutes. I think. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> then let's ask you the hard, hard questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who's your big guest for uh, Monroe pop fest next year? I can't say <laughs> mm. we can't, we can't, promote, can't promote that. 12 months early. I mean, you know, our, our pop fest is September. So is it? Yeah, we, we do in September. Dang. All right. All right. All we right. We did last year from, uh, from Conan. So yeah. Do what now? Princess Jenna from Conan was last year. Oh, really? Yes. We had, we had her and we always have power Rangers cause that's our most requested thing. Wrestlers. We always have wrestlers. So IWR has a big booth. You guys have a big booth there. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to promote. Oh, <laughs> yeah, kinda so, uh, have you seen any injuries yet in the promotion? Knock on wood, ours no. I mean, we've had a we've had a good couple good welts. I mean, you know, that concrete wall doesn't give. So, yeah. Has anybody used any uh, any of the uh, glass? Uh, scepter things yet we don't we don't really do that okay we, we we pretty much stay clear of any of the any of the uh, the death match stuff i guess um we use we use legos wooden tables wooden doors dude yeah. legos oh my god you guys are out of control violent yeah. <laughs> yeah. unbelievable there, there's, never stepped on a lego bro it's it's, it's ruthless I, that's what i'm saying and people get slammed and put through tables with legos on them Dude, yeah. I think I'd rather go through a ladder and a table than ever go through a Lego, dude. We use ladders, we, no glass. <laughs> that's we, that's where we draw the draw the line. No glass. Well, that's that's actually why I was asking is because uh, the glass thing kind of makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like seeing yeah. uh, the different uh, like matches that I've seen so far with it, like there's almost a line that feels like it's too violent. It's not like the nineties, like where you're sitting there watching like Lord Steven Regal and fit Finley go at it on top of the cars. And then, you know, Finley cuts his hand and Bischoff's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Pan away. Pan away. Yeah. <laughs> like it's nothing like that. But like when you see like the, like the David Arquette thing and like GWC, like with the neck and I you're like, I mean, I have nothing against, it. I think it's, it's, it's brutal. I just, I, this is not for not for our not for our uh, promotion. So, I agree with that, man. Uh, big names coming in. I know you can't uh, discuss them, but do you have any surprises coming in? Well, if I discuss them, it wouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gets out. No, our our our, our three year anniversary show is December 29th. We have a uh, uh, Dirty Dango, uh, WWE's Fan Dango. He's facing Johnny Swinger, the Swingman. Uh, that's gonna be. I'm looking forward to that. Swingman's been to our show before, uh, so it's going to be interesting to have him and uh, Dangle, Dangle do their do their tango in the middle of the ring. This is a rubber match between those two, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, Rhino, Rhino's facing the A team again, so uh, we're going to see what happens. To that they, like I said, they've been fireballed in his face. They put him out of the commission. They, the ruthless of the poor guy. I feel bad for him. <laughs> 
Why, why are they so, dude? Why, why you let bullies like that into your? <laughs> well, I, I got in the ring and I could throw them once, and I got beat down, so I stayed the hell out of the ring from now on. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit, man. That's, 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 that shit hurts, the old man. <laughs> Look, you tell Rhino if he needs any help to let me know, and I'm going to come up there, and I'm going to take care of him right now, okay? I'll, I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I'm sure he'll be calling me soon. Awesome, yeah, man. Uh, one of the things I do want to stress, though, as far as, far as like, IWR, uh, we, we, the main, our main goal besides, you know, the fans having memories and stuff is creating an atmosphere for the wrestlers, and where it's like, where it's like a big family. So I think we've, we've accomplished that. Actually, this next week, we're going to – uh, the IWR superstars, which is what I call them, because to me they're superstars. We're going to be going to the Oaks of Righteous homeless shelter. We're going to feed the homeless there. Where you know we're providing food and things for seventy or eighty, and then our our our, our wrestlers wow. will be feeding them. And it's just a, I don't know, it's just like, it's just a big family. So we're really, really it's really awesome. Guys, and we're honored to be one big family with them. So, dude, that is that is absolutely awesome. You guys are doing that, man. Especially right now, like. At- I mean, so many people are down on their luck right now, man. So, uh, so awesome of you guys to be doing that. I mean, I know that's probably going to, you know, lift the spirits of those guys tremendously to see you guys walk in, dude. So, um, Gary, uh, you have been on for 45 minutes, brother, and I know you got stuff to do tonight. Uh, Next time you're coming on, you're going to have to come on either right before your show for the holiday show or right after so we can talk about it, dude. Yeah, for sure. I'll get, uh, you, I'll get Rhino with me next time so we can so you have more interesting stuff to talk about. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. Dude, I actually could go another hour with you just so you know. I I've, mm-hmm. I've got I've got so many more questions lined up for you. It's just there's so many things that you can give away. You know what I mean? I can't. <laughs> and so many things that you can't give away. So <laughs> I, That's I, the I, difference. I'm very careful on how I have to answer these questions is different. From exactly. Now. You're the promoter. So now I get it. Now I get what uh, questions I can talk promotion wise with you about as opposed to other stuff. You know what I mean? So totally get it. Uh, Gary, let's get in some last words. Uh, tell all the people out there where they can find you and also tell them anything else you want to tell them tonight. Uh, you do have an entirely gigantic comic audience that watches this show they might not hit the like button but yeah. they watch the shit out of it so go ahead buddy no i just uh first of all honored to be on thanks mark uh you guys check out the mural pot fest we are on uh, facebook all the social medias uh instead of wrestling revolution we have a youtube page youtube channel which is actually uh Taryn gary's low expectations podcast too all of our wrestling matches are on there our promos are on there our past podcasts are on there it's a IWR Hardcore TV. So go to YouTube, subscribe to that. And just check us out on Facebook and uh, all the socials. I think you guys would be pretty impressed as far as what we're doing with the, with the wrestling. So, Well, I mean, you've impressed me. I reached out to you. You did not reach out to me. Um, that's how you know that you impressed me. So if you have this kind of, uh, you know, interaction with, you know, a casual fan like me, I know hardcore fans, once they see you, are going to absolutely eat your IWR up, bro. Uh, you know I, what I mean? I'm really proud of what we're doing there. I, like I said, I can't stress enough how 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 well these action is. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's a it's it's WWE, it's ECW on a smaller scale, and it just you guys got to come see it. All right, man. There we go. Uh, you guys come check out uh, Gary. He's going to be back on the show again. Uh, Gary, thanks so much for uh, coming on the show tonight, brother. Thank you, Mark. All Thank right, you. man. I'll talk to you later. All right. This is Mark May. And we are in the moment man, getting a phone call that we're going to turn on. <laughs> Gary was a great guest tonight. Watch this. Hey, buddy, can I call you back? I'm live on my live show right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's me... something at eight, but if it's before then, yeah. Okay, let me call you right back. Bye. All right. Later. <laughs> All right, guys. We don't usually do that on the live show, but that was Brady, one of the letterers for the books uh, for Hellbringer Shattered Truth, which we're going to have coming out here very soon. Uh, guys, the WCEWF underscore wrestling is on Instagram. 
Make sure to check it out for the Pick Federation, WCEWF on Facebook. Go there, like the page. You're going to be able to see all our customs that we're picking up, all the customs that I'm making, plus the Pick Federation that is going to have the bookings that I'm doing with our WCEWF. Uh, sure, it's fantasy, but it's fantasy that meets wrestling. So you guys are going to get a little bit of the story. I'm going to be writing it every week. I'll be uh, coming on here. We might even call some matches where we just put pictures up and make up a story for you guys, for your entertainment. So make sure to check it out. Don't forget, in 13 minutes, I'm going to come back live with another show. It's going to be Mark Britton, Kid Walk from Dragon Ball Z. Guys, we got to thank Gary again for coming on tonight. W-I-W-R, ladies and gentlemen, please check it out. Insane Wrestling Revolution. These guys are awesome. Like I said, I did approach him uh, to be on the show because I love what they are doing. Uh, also, Detroit Territory, man. You're talking about that old AWA country. So, just saying. All right, folks. Y'all have a great night. If you're not watching the second episode, come on back tomorrow morning. We're going to have Dr. Tom Pritchard from the WWF, WWE, and uh, Big Bill Dave Sullivan from WCW on tomorrow night. We're back, baby. This is the Mayhem Show with Mark May. You guys have a good night. Woo! Wait a second. Wait a second. We got to get your ending. Everybody knows the, uh, the Hellbringers ending, right? You guys still remember this? Volume 2 here. Here it comes. Do, do, do.